What's up YouTube? Tom here. And I apologize that I wasn't able to get you anything over the weekend. As you can see, it's nice and sunny. Over the weekend, we already weathered our first tropical storm of the season here in Florida. So anyway, today I wanted to make another video with my truck, my 2013 Tacoma Pre-Runner SR5. I wanted to make another little talk about it. Instead of things I hate, let's talk about things I really love about this truck. So without further ado, let's talk about what I love. Alright, so I know the last time I said I didn't like this engine because of its lack of power. But, but item number one that I really love is actually this engine. And now it, it might be down on power a little bit. Fine, 160, it's not a lot. But the Toyota four-cylinder truck engines have always seriously been some of the most reliable engines in the world. You cannot go wrong with one of these engines. They're basically bulletproof. There's ones regularly that go 300,000 miles or more. On the older Tacomas, if rust doesn't kill it, the engine certainly will not be what kills it. It's probably one of the best designed engines in the world, and easily, to me, the most underrated Toyota engines. As I said in the last video, this design goes back to the 1950s with its engine block. And this particular engine itself, the 2TR that's in the Tacomas currently, goes back to 2005. I have no problems thinking that Toyota will eventually put the proper update this engine needs, but... It's bulletproof in the meantime. Again, my filter's getting a little dirty. Time to clean that. So let's come inside for item number two here. Now, I said the back seats were terrible in this truck, and that hasn't changed. These, these seats back here are pretty awful. I'll tell you the thing I really love about it, and it's actually the seats that I spend the most amount of time in, and that's these front seats. Now, before this truck, we had an 04 Tacoma, and it was awful. You ride in it for about an hour, your butt was so sore you couldn't wait to get where you need to go. The headrests were non-existent. So you, I got neck strain sometimes driving it. These seats, at some point, now even people have said in the second gen Tacomas that they were awful in the first couple of years. I'm not sure exactly when they switched seats, but they must have because these seats are amazing. They're not the absolute best in the world, but compared to older Tacomas, these are amazing. I've taken this truck on a couple different road trips with my girlfriend, and you feel refreshed when you get there. So, amazing seats, even for Tacoma, which is in the past not known for having the most, best seats in the world. Let's come back inside here. I'm going to turn the key on for item number three. Now, 2013 for this truck was actually the first year it got this touchscreen radio. Now you can't really see a whole lot of it just because it's flickers a little bit, but this radio, I honestly think, is the best design radio they pretty much put in it. It's real easy to use, the lag is non-existent, and it's just the only real complaint I have with it is when you go and make an, a call, outgoing call, it kind of takes, if you got the phone connected and the radio playing, it doesn't like to immediately go to the Bluetooth setup, so it makes it a little bit difficult. Exactly, you can get your contacts in, but it's real difficult to use while moving. But if anything, it's actually done that way for a safety feature. But cause I've got this one, and my dad's got the 14 Tacoma, and they actually change it. I think it's better in the 13 than it was in the 14. Now, they've continued to improve it now. The new Tacomas, it's an amazing system, but this one here is so easy to use and so simple. It's, it's the touchscreen infotainment for dummies, and I wish this system would, would just go across the board, because there's nothing too overly complicated about it, and that's why I really love it. Item number three that I really love about this truck, and i got to go outside of the truck for it. Let me take my key back out of the ignition. Item number three, I kind of briefly mentioned this in the last video, I didn't go into much detail, is actually these bed rails right here. Because they slide up and down these rails on the side of the truck here. If I flip the camera down a little bit, hopefully you all can see that. And then we got one over here on the front end of the truck. And these allow you to position these little rings wherever you want inside the bed. There's no real limit to where you can put them. It's great because no matter how big of a load you have, you can always find room to strap it down in. And then item number five. The 
final thing I love about this truck is there's the peace of mind this bed gives you because this looks like it's a bed liner. It's actually composite. It's like Toyota took the time to develop the bed out of composite and make sure that there was no actual need to put a bed liner in the truck. That is, instead of having a bed liner, composite never rusts. And it's, they put a decent amount of friction in it, so when you put a load, it's kind of hot. I don't really want, can't really touch it as much now, because it's... Welcome to Florida in the summer. But it's composite, so you don't have to worry about putting a bed liner. You don't have to worry about rust issues. You don't have to worry about paint, because they never bothered to paint this. And it's, it's an amazingly designed bed, so that way, you put a load in, you, you're now not as worried. Well, and I got a few scratches down here, but I don't even know if they're showing up on video as well, but... This bed is an amazing bed, and it really helps me. The rare times I actually do haul a load. Got my, my stickers over here to try to decrease road rage. But, there you have it. Everything I love about this truck, and of course I have no plans to get rid of this truck anytime soon, because these are amazing trucks, and the new Tacoma, it's really only gotten better in all honesty. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I would love to grow my channel. Share this video with all your friends, and have a good day.